Today we're talking about how to properly serve a bowstring. Hey, it's Kramer with Shatterproof Archery. Thank you for joining me today as we get to the point. Here at Shatterproof Archery, we've been blessed to make over 4,000 strings in the last 12 months, and people seem to like them. And I've learned a few tricks about serving material and how to serve a bowstring over this time. I wanna share that with you today. I will first get right to the point and serve the bowstring, kind of show you my method, and then I'm gonna share with you five tips, five secrets, five tricks to the trade, so to speak, that have improved how to serve a bowstring, the speed of serving a bowstring, and all those sort of things. So let's jump right into it. I've got my mark here where we're going to start. I call this the knotless method, because you don't have to tie any knots. It is actually similar to a nail knot, but you're gonna lay about an inch of serving over the bowstring, and then you're gonna wrap underneath and wrap over top of that serving three to five times. You'll grab your serving jig and unwrap it so that it's nice and straight. I'll bring my serving jig all the way in to the serving, and then I'll go ahead and wrap it about 15 times total. Once we are wrapped 15 times, you'll pull this little tag in away from the serving jig, that way we can continue serving. And then once you get to this point, you'll just continue serving all the way down the string. I like to go 10 inches. And once you get a hang of the motion, you can go fairly fast, especially if you have a pretty good serving jig. So we'll just go 10 inches down and then we'll stop there and I'll show you how to wrap it up. We've made it a half inch short of our desired length. Now, you just need to pull extra serving material out. You're gonna make a nice big loop and bring the serving jig underneath the bowstring. And then you're gonna back serve 15 times. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Once you've back served 15 times, pull the serving jig out towards the section you just served. And we're gonna serve over top of this tag end here. This will lock everything in place. You wanna make sure this is tight and stays snug against the main serving. At this point, you can pull the tag end and you can see that this loop is just gonna shrink down and then once you get all the way down, you pull it tight and snug, and that secures it. Once that's snug, trim this about an eight inch off of the serving material. That way you can do a little burn, and that'll really seal it and keep it from ever coming undone. And we'll do the exact same thing with the first side. That's how I serve a bowstring. Okay, let's jump into the five pointers, tips, tricks, secrets, whatever you wanna call them. Number one, get the right serving material. There's multiple kinds of serving material. There's center serving material. There's serving material made for endless loop bowstrings. There's also different serving materials made for different types of strings, B55, D97, Fast Flight, that sort of thing. And then there's also knocking point serving material. And that's the worst way you could go, is if you serve your normal serving with knocking point serving material. And how you know to stay away from this is if you buy something that looks like this, these are from China and they're sold on Amazon. It's the cheapest serving material because it's the least durable. And what I mean by that is this is just made to tie knocking points so your arrow doesn't actually knock onto this, it just clips right under it. This serving material will not last long on your bowstring. Personally, for all the bowstring material and all the serving material, I use BCY. They're my supplier, they're in the US, they make everything here and they are great. And so I'm gonna go over the materials I use. Now Power Grip by BCY is an endless loop serving material. So if you wanna make an endless loop bowstring, Power Grip by BCY is what I'd recommend. Next, what I use most, I use this on B55 and on D97 bowstrings is Poly Grip by BCY. This stuff is fantastic. On BCY's website, they recommend what serving to use 
for what bowstrings. This is a recommended for B55 and D97 bowstrings. I've tested, I've used it a lot, and it works really well. I also sell this bowstring on my website, and I'm working on getting it on Amazon here in the next few weeks. And for fast flight serving material, I use 62XS by BCY as well. This stuff is solid. It does have a little higher tensile strength than this, meaning the poly grip has about a 50 pound breaking strength, and I believe this one's 75. I might need to check those numbers. I could be slightly off, but they both work extremely well for center serving material, and these two is what I'd recommend. And lastly, they have another high-end serving material by the name of Halo. That's really good serving material as well. I don't recommend this unless you are dead serious and deep into maybe tournament archery. You can use it, and from my experience, it is the best serving material you can get, but you're talking paying five times more than this. It'll be about $50 the spool. And so this, you're not gonna notice a difference, and I would totally go for these two kinds. And most likely, if you're like me, a hobbyist, and somebody who really enjoys shooting or hunting and that sort of thing, these two are gonna be solid for you. Tip number two getting the right serving thread thickness. Now you want a good solid knocking point when you put your air on, but you don't want it to be stuck and too tight. You don't want it to be too loose. Depending on where your bowstring is from or you make it yourself, could have different strands of bowstrings in the string, meaning you need a different diameter of serving material. This seems complicated and how can you do the math? Personally, I use 0.021 thickness or 0.020 thickness serving material. And then if it's too thin, I can beefen it up. Let me show you how. If you need to make your serving section thicker, if you remember how we normally serve is grab one to two inches and start this. Now, Think about that. This one to two inches is gonna be thicker. So rather than one to two inches, let's grab 12 inches. And then we can serve over top of those 12 inches the entire way. This will make our thickness thicker and allow for a knocking point. And how do you know if it fits your knock or not? Well, I'll just do a test serve. I'll go ahead and test serve this and I'll just go five or six times just enough to put my arrow on. Now, at this stage, you can test your arrow fit and you can see that's a little tight. So with this bowstring, I want it serve over top of the entire serving material. I would continue on without it like I showed you in originally, and then it would be the right size for me. But if it's too small, then you want to add serving material underneath. And to make it easy to serve over top of it, I would recommend going ahead and waxing it in with some Shatterproof Archery Bowstring Wax. And now it's gonna be tight to your bowstring so that it's easy to serve over top. Okay, tip number three is the serving jigs. Now this is not so important, especially as a hobbyist. I've went fairly deep, very deep into this as I've been making a lot and a lot of bowstrings. So, I'm gonna cover four options for you, tell you which one's fastest, which one I like most, and which situations. All right, I correct myself, five options. First option is no serving jig. I've done this many times. I did this for a long time because, well, 15 bucks I didn't wanna spend on a serving jig when I was only serving a bowstring a month. I know that's cheap of me, but yeah, that's where I, that's where I was at. But you can just do the same process and just wrap it by hand real tight all the way down. You're good to go. Second option. 10 to $15 serving jig. Now this one comes out the center, you wrap it around. My only beef with this serving jig is the tensioner is not very precise and you can easily get it too tight and then when you just barely loosen it, it seems to be too loose. Hand serving with this jig I do not like, but we will come back to this because I use it another way. This serving jig right here is the bomb for hand serving. It's much easier to get a rhythm with this serving jig and you can serve a bowstring in a minute to a minute and a half depending on how good your rhythm is and how fast you are. I really recommend this serving jig if you are going to be hand serving. And what do I mean by hand serving? I mean cranking it with your hand and not using assistance like a drill. 
So far I've went in the order of speed, those three options. The fourth option is by outer limit. Now if you're getting up to this, you're probably making a lot of bowstrings. Outer limit makes a serving jig that you can connect a drill to. What? A drill? Yes, you can connect a drill to. Not only so, you can serve a bowstring in between 30 and 50 seconds with this serving jig. Now this jig is about $210. So again, you're probably gonna be making a lot of bowstrings if you want this serving jig. But I even have a better option for you. Back to this cheap serving jig, I made my own. I made a jig within a jig, basically. I made something that this could go into that I could use a drill on. I'll link that video but this outperforms that $200 serving jig, and why? Well, there's a couple reasons. First of all, the reason I use this one instead of this one is because the hole is not in the center of the jig, but this one, the hole is in the center of the jig, which leads to a much greater and faster serving inside the jig. This right here is the jig. I've glued rubber onto it, and I use an impact drill to power it, and it zooms. Let me show you. Okay, so let's say it's just another average day in the workshop, make it another bowstring, 61 inches. I'll go to 30 and a half and then add four. At this point, we'll grab our serving material and we'll start our wrap. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, don't drop it, four. We'll bring this in. And then we're gonna hand serve it just a little bit to get up to our 15, okay? We are in the process of moving, so this table's disconnected, so it's wobbling a lot. So I'll hand serve it like that, and then we'll go over top. Okay, at this point we can add our serving jig, slightly tighten it down right here. No problem. Okay, at this point, if you wanted to, you could hand spin it. Or you could grab a drill with a wheel on it and go to town. nine and a half inches. I've got my ruler down here to see it. And then you can just finish off the serving. So that right there is most definitely the fastest method I have found to serve a bowstring. You pull it out and then you will keep it tight and wrap. Pull it tight. Trim. And finish with your burn. Just like so. Number four is doing the correct length of serving. Now this is a complicated one when I'm making a lot of bowstrings for people that I don't know how their bow was designed. Now, in general, most bows are designed the exact same, meaning if you measure from the top of the, to the bottom of the bow, the very center point will be where your palm is in the handle. So the arrow rest is generally an inch to two inches above that. So with that in mind, that's how I serve most bowstrings. Plus, I serve them with a 10 inch serving section so that I can make sure I cover the crucial sections. What's crucial on a bowstring? Well, you want your knock to be able to be on the serving. And then the second thing is you want the serving to come down low enough that if you hit your arm or an arm guard, that the serving protects the actual bowstring. Those two things are covered, you're good to go. So if you're serving your own bow, I'll get a T-square, clip this on, know where my knocking point is, go three inches above your knocking point, start your serving there, 
and then serve down 10 inches. So it'll be three inches above, seven inches below, and you'll be good to go. If you're serving a Flemish twist bowstring, there's one more thing that's important. If you notice the string is twisted, this is really cool because it allows you to twist up the string or untwist it to change your brace height so it can fit your bow perfectly. But when you untwist the string, you notice the string comes untwisted. That's not good. So when you're serving, you have to serve in the direction that tightens your bowstring. So that's why I was serving towards myself and I have it set up where I have the same system every single time, but you wanna serve in the direction that tightens your bowstring. If you start serving and you notice your bowstring's coming unwound, you did it backwards. So you wanna keep that in mind. That's a big tip that a lot of people have trouble with, but you just gotta serve in the correct direction and the direction that's gonna tighten your bowstring. And there's me trying to get to the point with serving material. Thanks for watching. I hope I gave you enough information, but not too much. Stay shatterproof. Hey, something we started doing recently is having shatterproof archery product testers. We're up to around 20 products on our website and we're increasing monthly basically. And so I wanted you guys to help me out test out these products. So we started a Patreon page. And there at Patreon, there's many different levels, but you get discounts on the website, everybody does. So if you're gonna buy something on the website, that's a great way you could support. Also, the YouTube content from Kramer Ammon's YouTube channel is, well, ad free. That's a huge plus. On top of that, you can talk to me personally. You can be a Shatterproof Archery product tester up to the highest level of being a Shatterproof Archery product tester for bows. Yeah, seriously, you can test one of the bows I send you because we're in the production and the testing of figuring out what bows to sell to the world. And I want you to give me your feedback on the bows we're testing right now. So if you're interested, check out Patreon. Thanks again for all the support. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Stay shatterproof. Peace.